In this video, I'll analyze the astounding final fourth movement of Forge's first piano quartet in C minor, Opus 15, one of the great masterpieces of the chamber music literature. The movement begins with this rising dotted theme in C minor. Notice that I highlight this descending dotted figure with green instead, to warn you that it will return with greater importance, particularly in the spectacular coda that combines many of the main thematic ideas from earlier in the movement. We just heard the introduction of this new march-like orange theme that now becomes the basis for this transitional figure that cycles through the instruments. The original blue theme now appears imitatively in a transitional passage that leads to the relative major introduction of the second lyrical contrasting theme that I'll highlight with this purple color. Listen for this lively decorative counterpoint from the first violin when the theme is repeated and for the short variant of the theme that appears at the end of the exposition section. The brilliant development section begins with the orange march-like theme that combines in alternating fashion with this new dolce espressivo motif played by the piano. The new motif in the right hand of the piano part is now combined with a less static accompaniment from the left hand and a breathtakingly gorgeous counter motif from the viola. This leads to one of my favorite passages in which the lyrical purple theme enters in the cello part and combines with the new motif now played by the other strings instead of by the piano. This section, with its lavishly rich harmonies and perfectly intertwining expressive contrapuntal lines, will always be one of my all-time favorites. Thank you. 
Entries of the blue theme now bring us to the ingenious ending of the development section, a prolonged augmented chord spanning multiple measures that at the last possible moment suddenly becomes a dominant seventh chord with the substitution of a D and F for the E flat in the piano accompaniment. This leads to the return of the blue theme in C minor to begin the recapitulation section. The recapitulation section begins much like the exposition section, but now completely avoids the lyrical purple theme in favor of the orange march-like theme and a new syncopated theme derived from the green descending dotted motif I highlighted earlier. The interplay between these two themes leads us to the final arpeggiated dominant seventh chord from the piano, preparing us for the beginning of the spectacular coda section. The tremendous, ever-intensifying coda begins with four measures of ingenious piano accompaniment before the first violin enters with the syncopated green motif. The viola now adds to the complexity by simultaneously playing the purple lyrical theme. The short variant of the purple theme now makes multiple appearances followed by the simultaneous combination of the blue and purple themes. This leads to perhaps the most intense moment of the coda when the first violin plays for the first time a long variant of the purple theme, immediately followed by more entries of the short variant. The piano has been the unsung hero of this entire coda, with constantly changing, acrobatic accompaniment that is motivically unrelated to the complex counterpoint occurring in the strings. Now, in the exhilarating closing measures of the coda, the piano has the last word with two final entries of the orange march motif. <laughs> 